Morning guys, Beast here. Morning coffee has now become mid-morning uh, protein shake. Got my workout in, thought I would wander out here and update you guys on what's been happening on the adventure bus. Uh, now, this is gonna be a bit of an overview. I'll probably break this up into a couple different videos, talking about, uh, I think, seating. Uh, we're gonna do insulation and just an overall update. Now, if you want more information or you want more detailed videos, I've got lots of filming done while I've done these videos. If you want to know the ins and outs and the nuances of building an adventure bus or you're thinking about building a van, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, I can break it down into a very specific sort of insulation video, uh, seating video. But for today, I'm just going to give you guys an update on what's been happening. Come on. Hey guys, Beast here and welcome to sort of part two of the video I'm filming this morning, which has to do with seating. Now you think with a bus that there's plenty of room and the reason I got this version of a E350 instead of a normal van was because I have an instant family. My fiance has three children and I want somewhere for us to be able to relax but not have a huge RV. So starting with the passenger side. So in my last video, I talked about why we did the RV door. Well, that also gave you somewhere to put a passenger seat. And as I let the camera change the lighting here, you can see this was another Craigslist find. Uh, it did include the seatbelt attachment so that I didn't have to try to mount anything. All I had to do is make sure that it's super solid. Um, I am going to have to put a handle getting in this bus because everyone naturally grabs this rear pocket and it is ripping out a little bit. But if we look underneath, what I've done is I've tied in to the frame itself. I've got grade eight bolts coming through the bottom. I'll put in some photos as we go. Uh, the front mounts are on this front railing, which is a huge support that's built in straight to the bus. So that's tied in. The only one that really wasn't 100% tied in was this third leg here that I just quickly welded up for a trip. I did have bolted down through the bottom into here and that created that extra space. The reason this bolt is off is because I'm getting ready to fabricate this space itself. And so we're gonna run a full bar all the way over to the door here. So that'll connect the door to the bus as well as connect the seat down. This is gonna provide storage and then we're gonna utilize this space right here for other things. Um, so we'll have armrest and storage for the passenger. It'll end right below that window up there. And it really is pretty nice. Um, obviously you can see when it's scooted back, it comes into direct line as you get into the bus, but it can be scooted forward. Uh, the seat itself tilts forward, it slides forward, there's lumbar support. It really has been one of the best pieces of gear that I put in here. And that way when I'm sitting here driving, I have my lovely fiance or somebody sitting right next to me and I don't feel like a chauffeur. Now just behind the driver's seat, you're gonna notice there is three seats. That was another Craigslist find. Uh, initially it was several hundred dollars, eventually went down. I sent him a message, I said, you know, I'll get 250 for it as my budget. Well, he never got back to me. And then all of a sudden, Facebook of all people sent me a message saying, hey, this is now down to 200. So I messaged him again. He could have had 250, but he forgot to message me and decided to lower it because no one bought it. Great deal, $200 for three seats. Uh, they are over the shoulder seat belts. There's a little cup holder here. This is out of a Sprinter, 2017 Sprinter. Uh, I did remove the center leg and I have fabricated these two mounts on the bottom. You can see uh, that is out of eighth inch, one and a half inch tubing. And the reason for that is so I've got some bolts on there. I did fabricate all that out. So if I do a permanent mount, um, I can use the Sprinter's quick release to quick release it off that grade eight bolts. Otherwise right now it is currently mounted into the C channel. Um, the bus itself, a lot of their seats were mounted with these, you know, quick release C channel pins and I can run grade eights into that. That's how the original factory was. And so I'm utilizing that throughout the bus to anchor things down permanently and I know they won't go anywhere. So I'll put in a quick photo, but if you follow me on Instagram, you know that originally I had this perpendicular, you know, facing forward and, uh, that was great. That was just kind of a test bed. So these rails do fit the way I designed them to lock into both of these rails and in a feet, you know, sort of seat forward design. And it doesn't take too much time to flip it over, but right now while I'm still building and fabricating, I have chosen to move it over. Now the plan originally, and still is down the road when I finish these, I'll have two bench seats in the back that's gonna tie into that track along with some L track tied into the frame. And then I'll have seat belts, just uh, lap belts for, uh, 
for six people, uh, three on each side. It'll be uh, 60 inches wide uh, because that's the length of a queen size bed that will be there eventually. But for now, so we can use this thing on mini trips and just running kids around if I need to. I know that everyone is secured and has a proper seatbelt. All right, guys, Wandering Beast, that's sort of the current seat situation. Um, let me know if you want more of the fabrication details. It wasn't easy to get that second seat in there, but between that and the door and all that fabrication, I'm happy the way it turned out. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind noise. It's getting a bit breezy here in Central Oregon. Um, and of course the Sprinter seat, if we don't end up keeping it, that's something I can pull in and out. It's a bit heavy and cumbersome. I can do it with one person if I need to, but I can always, you know, sell it back on Craigslist for someone else who needs uh, seating in their van. But for right now, I feel very comfortable with over the shoulder, proper seating out of a Sprinter that is properly secured down. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you down the road. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the adventure on social media and we'll see you on the road.